Hey guys, on this episode of Keeping It Real, it's us and what, Callie back here and we're talking about lack of sleep. For day three, us and Callie, your battery's about to die. This is real. She going to get the battery. This one's about to die. This is like a metaphor of what we're feeling like with three straight days. We're running low. I'm like, tired. Like literally. I'm sleepy. Our batteries are about to die. Hold on. Be back. Take two. <laughs> oh, we're back, y'all. So we are tired. We are on day three of no day nurses. And today's Saturday. So the first two days were weekdays. So we're balancing work in this little one right here. And she just loves to not sleep with us. So she's in some major sleep regression, like waking up in the middle of the night, taking like 30 minute naps, which means that we don't get a chance just to chill. Well, we've got doctor's appointments on doctor's appointments lately, so we're tired. Um, yeah, we're here. We're just making it do what it do. And between work, me and Callie have been had a head cold, so we are going through that. And it's just one of those times right now yeah. where I'm just, you know, when I'm not working or caregiving, I'm just a jungle gym. So, <laughs> just to, seriously. Just have to lay here and let, <laughs> let her do yeah. it. And she is just like, she knows it's her world, we're living in it, and it has been a lot on us like mentally and physically lately and she's just chilling you know like taking these 30 minute naps and waking up smiling tongue out like let's party and we're like no let's not yeah we, um, we had a play date today and the yes. consensus from it was sometimes parents need kids to nap for the parents yes not for the kid we need her to lay down for a long time but with it being 4 30 now the goal is to keep her awake till eight even like, though she's gonna be ready to go to sleep like, so like six that's the other challenge with all of it is to now have to play hey you can't go to sleep so we got to do whatever we can to keep you awake which is why daddy has to be a jungle gym and just accept what happens after this right girl can you not blind the people please and let us know if you've dealt with this i feel like all parents have dealt with this she's gonna be two in a month i can't believe that and the sleep regression has just been so real and trying to create routines for her and it's just not happening um like rove said that like we wanted you guys to see i feel like when we film like you get to see just like some of the good times but like her up and active you don't have to see the fact that we we like really want her to sleep and she won't sleep yeah and then like Rome said too like what the cold you guys both had a cold so yeah, was, her going bad. through a cold like we came back from the hospital and she caught something from the hospital and then unfortunately our nurses started to catch it so when you have like your support team getting sick as well and I was the only one that remained healthy so then that put a lot of pressure on me to make sure like the house is good that they're good taking care of both of them um it was so hard on everyone because again like we just we're just here to... <laughs> can you just see y'all she's got her knee in Rome's back <laughs> like why what are you doing girl Like we said, in these episodes of Keep It It Real, it's like uncut, unedited, and we just want you guys to see us in the moment talking about various topics, but <laughs> she's like, what y'all doing? Yeah, and I read this thing because I was like, hey, what if we just gave her melatonin because they have, you know, melatonin is all natural and they have, and they have uh, melatonin for the Zarbies brand makes it for babies. So, yeah, the, the thread that I read said you shouldn't give kids melatonin um, regardless because basically, like, if they're already having sleep issues, 
and they take melatonin, their body could develop this need for it and these issues could get worse. Mm. So it's really just trying to figure out our way around it. So, yeah. Um, what we've been trying to do is like maybe a, a playlist and a certain routine, reading a certain book, lights out, just like creating that routine and it works some days, some days it doesn't work. But also I, I remind people that like when she sleeps, it doesn't mean that we sleep. It just means that we can just relax. Like maybe Rome might sleep and I'll be up watching the monitor, but we can't sleep if she sleeps because well, you have to listen to her breathe. Exactly. So it's just a chance for us to not be on. And I think everyone needs that. Like when the weekends hit, you need like a time to just wind down. Um, and we don't get that. I don't even know when the last time, like, I'm not gonna lie, when the last time I was able to actually relax and like, you know, like fully relax, like not have to have on one end of my head knowing that she's in there and to listen out mm -hmm. for help or anything. Um, yeah yeah and i think what's been the extra layer is like she's got a lot of doctor's appointments coming up one one a day every week for the next couple weeks and they're doing like scans and labs as we're trying to figure out when her monoblock will be so we just like i'm juggling our own schedule our family schedule and then her calendar pt she's sick it's hospital so it's it's been a busy winter time for us well it's not even winter fall and we're trying to gear up for for the winter oh. and making sure you know we, we need her to get the right amount of sleep because we also want to make sure she's staying healthy let me give her a suction y'all oh. oh drool drool all over daddy okay hey it's okay see she gets mad she don't like being suction no more she don't like being disrupted no more. As we wrap this up Here's and we food. don't want to make it think like we know all parents lack sleep in these early years and so we know that this is something that all families deal with but we just want to make sure that we're we're showing all the different sides of parenthood but also humanizing our journey yeah. and realizing that Callie is like any other kid in certain elements that yeah there are times she doesn't sleep and we are exhausted but then there are also extra layers that we deal with between doctor's appointments and her health like being sick is a little bit more drastic and concerning and it's more of an emergency because right. again like if she's having a head cold chest cold where there's increased mucus and she can't clear the whole thing is we have to keep her trach clear and open imagine how like if you're drinking a smoothie and the fruit isn't ground up all the way and you know sometimes you get one of the strawberries and you can't actually like drink it through your straw it's caught that's the same thing as the trach so we have to make sure that a, a glob of mucus doesn't get stuck at the front of the trach so because if it closes that's her airway closing so we always have to make sure that we do airway preservation so making sure we thin it out because when you get sick you just get extra mucus anyway so right and i know people always ask what do you guys do for yourself sometimes we don't do anything I don't do anything that's sometimes the, that's the we're problem. just that's we're I'm... at a stage where it's just all hands on deck it's all about cali and these early years we understood that like there's surgeries there's appointments until she gets to a really good base and so honestly we we're just really dialed in on getting her to the next level and moments where one of us can like relax or do something we care about and like something creative we try but right now we've kind of not had a chance to have some time for us and we know that this will just be a chapter or yeah and that's literally why it's so hard because even if there was anything i wanted to do for myself i'm too damn tired to even go go anywhere to do it um yeah 
yeah, I mean, granted, mine's a little different. I have chronic fatigue is one of my symptoms, so. Oh, yeah. I that. find out that Rome has Crohn's diseases. Crohn's disease, gastritis, yeah, some, some other stuff that I don't, I'll say when I know more about what it is. But, yeah, it's trying to, <laughs> trying to figure out all of this stuff. Yeah, so we got layers and layers of things that we're going through right now, but always really thankful for the community that we have out there and this is just another way of like bringing you guys into our world in the uncut and raw edition Callie's about oh uh, you gonna about, about to get out of here about to go and sweet is that you saying you want to get back in bed <laughs> bye guys <laughs> <laughs>